In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add some extra white space on the y-axis and on the x-axis and if you open up the console log you will see as well here or at least here in the developer you can see the canvas has been uh, adjusted here so we're not working with padding outside of the canvas but within the canvas itself so let's start to explore how we can do this so let's explore how we can add space on the x-axis and the y-axis in chart.js so to do this, first of all, we need to get our default code here. You can get this on charges3.com getting started. You can find this link in the description box as well. So we're going to scroll down here and just copy this nice chunk of code that's ready to use. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then what I'm going to do is I just paste that all in there. And afterwards, I'm just going to cut out the title, put in the title here save this and refresh all right so now we have a basic bar chart here and what we want to do now is to focus on the x-axis or sorry on the y-axis and the x-axis here so we want to put in some space so to do this we're going to scroll down here and we go into the options and in the options you have the feature it's called layout basically the layout allows us to add a padding in the canvas but remember the padding in the canvas is not the padding that you're familiar with in css because basically if you would do this and you might say well i'll just put in here uh what is that in here we can just say uh, padding 20 pixels this will work but what it really does is it will not impact the canvas itself because basically there's no space here or well, you can see the canvas has changed a bit, but the space here is not real space that we can consider. So that's why what we're going to do here is a different type. Let's refresh this, all right? And that is the layout feature. So once we do this, and then here we can say padding. And we could do here, for example, 50 pixels, 50, save this, and then refresh. And what happens now is this padding is basically built in the canvas of course i don't want the full padding i want the padding here on the left and padding at the bottom so let's start to do this right now so to do this all we're going to say here is another object or basically we're going to break it down and then we say here padding left or padding left equals 50 pixels comma bottom equals 50 pixels if i save this refresh you can see now here we start to have a nice space that we can control and of course you can control it from any direction top bottom left and right and this is basically how you can add up here your space and of course with this while this looks quite simple and easy there's a lot more you can do with this once you know more different items which i will be showing very soon in another videos and if you like this video and maybe you're also quite interested in for example putting space between the legend here on the top and at the bottom well for that i have another video that covers that exactly on how to add margin in the legend in charges we have a space at the top and a space at the bottom 